Jewelry is by far the easiest way to update any outfit and give it a bit of a modern touch. And fortunately for us, there are some fascinating jewelry trends on offer this year. And I'm picking, you may not have even heard about some of these. Hi, I'm Leone and welcome to my channel. Now, adding a few pieces of jewelry to an outfit before you head out the door is a really easy way to take a basic outfit and turn it into something far more modern and interesting. And that's why I think it's important to keep up to date with some of the key jewelry trends because it's an affordable way to update many of your favorite looks. So today I'm featuring 10 key jewelry trends and I'm also talking about some of the trends that are moving aside. So it's basically what's in, what's out, and I think some of these are going to really surprise you. So keep watching. Now first up and the trend that I'm most excited about is the return of brooches. Now I've dug out my favorite vintage YSL brooch. Now this safety pin brooch was given to me oh, 20, 25 years ago when I was editing one of New Zealand's or New Zealand's top fashion magazine, Fashion Quarterly. And this is a really precious piece to me. So I'm looking forward to bringing this out and incorporating it into some of my outfits. Now, I've seen some of my favorite YouTubers, Karen Britchick, one of them. She's just bought a gorgeous brooch recently. Some of my favorite Instagrammers that are creating interesting outfits and interesting shapes of outfits with brooches. So there's a lot that you can do with the brooch. You don't have to just wear it on a lapel as you would traditionally think to wear it. You can wear it to clasp a jacket or a shirt at your neck. You can do lots of different things with brooches. You can even wear them on handbags. So the return of brooches in my mind is a really lovely trend and it's basically like giving your outfit an accessory. There are some really interesting options on offer and I suspect that you are going to see more and more brooches popping up over the next few months and certainly into the rest of 2024. But let me know what you think about the return of brooches. I suspect that this trend will divide some of you. You will either really love it or you'll be on the other side of things and not be a fan of brooches. So I'd love to hear what you think, but certainly for me, I am a big fan of brooches. I love the idea of accessori accessorizing some of my outfits and just adding a, a little bit of interest to some of my favorite jackets, coats, and blazers. So brooches are big for 2024. One of the trends that I've seen a lot of and one that I'm particularly fond of is spheres and jewelry of all different types but spheres so basically circles i've got cute little sphere earrings on today but i've seen some lovely sphere chokers or chokers with sphere detail so i mean a beautiful round circular element to these pieces some rings some bracelets earrings and i do think that this is quite a modern look it's also a really lovely minimalist style as well and if you are looking to invest in some pieces then obviously this is a style that you can invest in and wear for years to come but I do love these spheres I think there's something really perfect and beautiful about that circular shape so spheres are here and hopefully as this video goes on I'm going to be able to show you lots and lots of photos of what I'm talking about so it all makes sense and of course, I will link everything in the description box below. So everything that's numbered that I show will be linked below as well. Now, this next one is definitely another interesting one, and that's the return of anklets. Now, I certainly was a huge fan of anklets when I was a teenager, which was a very long time ago. But the surprising thing is I'm almost tempted to try this trend again. So there are pretty sort of dainty chains. There are also very minimalistic style anklets, which is probably the look that I would go for. And there are even some sort of uh, beads and what look to be fine pearls as well. But anklets are back and I couldn't have predicted this one. Now, next up, this is going to appeal to the maximalists out there. And certainly I think it's gonna be a stretch too far for the minimalists. But what we did see a few years back were arm parties where we'd see layers and layers of bracelets layered up on our arms. Now, what is happening this year is 
what I've seen referred to as a hashtag neck mess. Neck mess. So basically it is layers upon layers of necklaces. And I have seen one Instagrammer who does this incredibly well. I can't remember her name because I've got a problem with remembering names at the best of times, but I'll put her up on screen here and she does the neck mess better than anyone I have ever seen. In fact, every time I see her wearing layers and layers of jewelry, she also does, she layers up her rings and her bracelets and just wears everything together and seems to carry it off beautifully. Every time I see her, I think, I must layer some more pieces, but I think for me that maximalist sensibility isn't quite me. But if it is you, I definitely think this is a look to to give a try. The neck mess is definitely what's happening for 2024 and it gives you the opportunity to wear a lot of your favorite pieces and wear them and enjoy them. And so for that reason, I think it's a great trend. And at this point, I just wanted to share a little bit about the super cute little UFO 3 by Foreo Sweden. Now these guys are sponsoring this portion of today's episode, but I have been using this little product for oh, a good sort of six weeks now and absolutely love what it's doing to my skin. It's a beauty product that basically nourishes your skin and helps to restore the moisture. Now at 57, this is a product when I first heard about it that I wanted to know more about because my skin is dry, dehydrated and getting that moisture into it is getting harder and harder the older I get. Now the UFO 3 has eight different colored LED lights and each do something completely different. So I often use the red as it stimulates the production of collagen, which is something that's super important. The orange LED light helps to erase sun damage, which I have way too much of. And it even has a massage setting, which is really lovely. All you do is place a specially designed Foreo mask onto the device and then you can choose what treatment you would like. There's a cooling and de-puff setting which I love for using around my eyes but my absolute favorite would have to be the heat setting because it just warms the moisture into my skin and I can feel it doing my skin good. There are five different treatments to choose from and you can either control it from the device which is very easy, or there's an app which you can download onto your phone. You can choose your own treatment or the one that's recommended with the mask, and you can even create your very own customized routine. Now, one of the things that I love about this, not only does it make my skin feel great, and I've had fun doing some at-home spa treatments that only take two minutes, by the way, but I also noticed that my makeup actually glides on so much easier. And I know that that's because my skin is more nourished, plumped up and moisturized. Anyway, of course there is a discount to share as well. Now you can save 30% off your UFO3 if you use the link in my description box below. There is also an additional 10% off for the first 50 people that use that link and my discount code, which is STYLE10. So definitely take advantage of this little device and this great offer. These guys don't discount very often at all, so it is very much a good deal. And I love this little product. It also comes with, oh, I have got it here, a cute little stand that you can stand this in your bathroom. It looks super cute. These come in different colors as well. Anyway, click the link in my description box below, take a look at it, and then take advantage of this super cool offer. I love this gorgeous little product. It's definitely been a game changer for me. And when it comes to chains, as in necklace chains and bracelet chains, there are two styles that seem to be happening this year. One is a snake chain. Now I have a snake chain. I absolutely love it. I love the fact that it's a little bit thicker than a fine dainty chain and I love the fact that it's really shiny and it makes a statement without being a chunky chain. So snake style chains are in fashion this year along with what I'm calling paperclip style chains. So interesting chains that are, well they look like paperclips or they have interesting detail to them that is not just your standard chain. So they're making a statement, but without necessarily being a chunky piece of jewelry. So interesting chains, 
in particular snake style chains and paperclip style chains are what is happening this year. You may have also seen that there are a lot of name plaque necklaces around and also alphabet slash letter necklaces so these are trending again we did see them a few years back and in fact I owned a Sarah Jessica Parker style name necklace I was so sad when I lost it I don't know what happened to it it came off and it was never to be seen again I would actually love to get another Leone necklace um, yeah I think that they're really cute so I'm excited about the return of these necklaces what I have seen and what seems to be a little bit different this time around is the the letters and the alphabet pieces are generally generally a little bit chunkier some are almost sort of a bubble style letter but I do like the idea of of wearing my initial on my necklace and or well, certainly even I remember back in the day I wore my son's initials as a a necklace as well so I think you can have a lot of fun with these but definitely this is a very much a trend that is happening again this year too now pendants are back as well and in particular corded pendants so a really interesting pendant set on a cord instead of a chain now I love these pendants they're easy to wear it's a statement piece but I do think you have to be careful if you have a fuller bust you will know what I'm talking about when it comes to pendants. They do tend to fall and almost come together through your bust and not sit as beautifully as they could. Now, if you don't mind this, that's absolutely fine, but I do think it's a little bit of a word of warning when it comes to pendants. Sometimes, as I said, if you have a fuller bust, they are a little tricky to wear, but a lot of these corded pendants are shorter as well, so they're not necessarily the super long pendants there are different different options in terms of length but I love the fact that they're on a cord it's just something a little bit different and I'm sure you may even have some pieces that you could create your own pendants with or mix and match some of your favorite pieces to create this look but these corded pendants are a really nice addition to this year's lineup now i couldn't put a video together like this without also including a chunky chain necklace so if there is one particular necklace style for 2024 it would have to be a statement chunky chain necklace and you will see some really super chunky monkeys happening as well and if like me you're not really into going so far down that path you'll wear a statement necklace like the one I'm wearing today or just a little bit of a chunkier chain but there really is something here for everyone so a statement chunky chain necklace is by far the hottest jewelry trend this year and speaking of things being supersized what we are also seeing is a hero cuff like a real statement cuff so we had been seeing layered bracelets and bangles and we've kind of moved more into just wearing those really hero pieces like a real decent statement cuff which again is just an easy kind of one and done pop it on you're making a statement perfect for spring summer now this next one is also quite interesting and it's the trend for gender reveal jewelry now of course this isn't going to be for everyone but there does seem to be a trend for not just gender reveals in the way of balloons and confetti and cakes it's now jewelry so there are uh, precious and semi-precious stones being used in jewelry to gift to the expecting mum to show what gender her child is now i don't know i think this is kind of cute i think it's a really lovely way to celebrate your unborn child it's a piece that you will have and own and perhaps passed down it's a sentimental piece but this gender reveal jewelry is quite a new thing let me know if you've heard of it before but yeah I think it's I think it's kind of quirky and cool now last but not least is the trend for wearing a single statement earring on its own now this isn't going to be for everyone because I know that it is going to potentially just feel a little bit unbalanced and maybe look more like a mistake than an intentional fashion statement but we did see on the runway designers showing their latest collections for spring summer with models wearing one earring so expect to see that as a trend but also there were earrings that were 
not an exact match so they are a pair but they are different earrings and I personally kind of like this look I like the fact that it gives you that I don't know I just like to feel like I'm wearing two earrings not one but it also just creates interest and it it kind of looks like your outfits finished off even though both earrings aren't completely the same now one of the trends that we can expect to see less of this year are more sort of fine dainty watches and also to my dismay tech watches so your kind of apple watches or your fitbits now for me nothing's going to stop me wearing my fitbit i love it to track my steps and just to keep sort of track of my sleep and whatever else so for me a tech watch is a practical thing it's not necessarily a fashion statement so i'm still going to be wearing mine but definitely sort of textile watches and fine dainty feminine sort of watches are being moved out and replaced with more kind of man style chunky watches so definitely expect to see more of this kind of chunky masculine styling when it comes to watches this year and one of the things that we will see a little less of is delicate stacking with chain bracelets and also chain necklaces now this doesn't mean that we're not going to see it and of course if it's a style that you love then that's great I personally love it so I'll still be wearing my delicate necklaces stacked together but I think in response to our kind of neck mess we are seeing more statement pieces worn together as opposed to the really fine dainty pieces that we have seen in the last couple of years we also started to see charm bracelets reappearing and they've definitely taken a back seat to more bangles and bangles stacked together or as i mentioned a hero cuff so cuffs and bangles are definitely replacing the charm bracelets that we've seen over the last couple of seasons anyway that's it from me today i hope you enjoyed this one and if you did i'd love you to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and i'll see you in the next one bye for now